looking inside the structure of the anti-world. What we're doing now is actually looking into antimatter for the first time, an antimatter atom. We're actually studying it the way that atomic physicists have been studying hydrogen and helium and all the other atoms in the periodic chart. We're actually addressing an antimatter atom in the same way. We're starting to learn how to do that. And that's a huge step forward for us because we've never been able to do that before. So this step of last year of storing things for a thousand seconds, that's what allows us to do this. We need some time to interact with this trapped atom. Because the atom is magnetic, it has energy in the magnetic field that's used to trap it. What we've done is to use microwaves, resonant radiation microwaves, to flip the magnetic moment of the antihydrogen atom the spin. So this is a, f a spin flip measurement. It's a resonant measurement because you, it takes a precise amount of energy to make this quantum transition between the dipole moment pointing in one direction and pointing in the other direction. Uh, we've made a resonant quantum interaction with the internal structure of the antihydrogen atom. And that's the first ever measurements on this antimatter atom.